And how did you first hear about Squist and get involved? Yeah, so I, I first heard Swiss when I got here in Canada about two years ago, and I was looking for a community, an active community of women in STEM, um, where I can be involved and give my time and support in promoting STEM, especially to a younger generation. And how did you find, how did you track down Squist? I just went to the website and I just go from there. And I attended the first, the first one I attended is a summer walk. And that is where I met Christine and all the other members. And I just felt welcome. And since then, I volunteered. What did you volunteer to do? I primarily joined the events team. So I was so excited and participated in a lot of events that we did for younger generation, for, for kids. Um, we did this science week of just teaching kids about some science myth. And I also was involved in a quiz show that Christine prepared where we also, it's just a lot of fun and engaging kids on STEM and STEM trivia. Yeah, uh, my name is Claris. So right now I'm a project manager at Student Energy. It's a nonprofit helping young people and empowering them in the energy transition. I started my career as a geologist and then I transitioned doing energy systems. And then right now I'm doing project management. So what kind of geology did you do? I did, I initially started as like petroleum geologist. Um, so mapping and trying to look for oil and gas um, back in the Philippines. And then I also was involved also in geothermal. So hot temperature, igneous um, geology. Completely unrelated. The yes. Geological Survey of Canada found a giant magma pool beside the Squamish Highway. Whoa. And um, what message would you have for girls in science? Um, I think if you have passion for STEM and you want to make a career out of it, I just say, just go for it. I know sometimes people say, oh, science is hard or, you know, science tech and math is hard. But if you have passion for it and you're su surrounded by a very supportive group of people, then you can succeed. And there are people who say in high school, oh, science, tech, engineering, math, medicine, it's not feminine. Mm. Women in STEM can be as feminine as they like, I've noticed. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I, I feel like, especially with geologists, when I started my career, I'm probably just like the, the ratio between uh, men and women is very much like skewed towards men. But I don't think there should be, it should be a barrier. Um, like if you want something, if you are passionate about doing something, regardless of it's like how labeled as feminine or something, it shouldn't matter. Um, we can succeed as women. We have we offer unique perspective and experience can, that can offer uh, support innovation and creative problem solving in this field. So it shouldn't be an issue and you just go for it if that's your passion. It's the 40th anniversary of Squist. Do you have any 40th anniversary message? Yeah, um, happy 40th anniversary to Swiss. Um, I'm really amazed by the amount of work and, and community engagement that the organization did in the last uh, 40 years. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be another fruitful and productive 40 years ahead. <laughs>